Hello my friends and welcome to my YouTube channel. As you can see by the title, today's video is about your assumptions about me. Uh, so a couple of weeks ago I had a poll on Instagram uh, asking you guys if you would like to see, me, uh, if you would like me to shoot an uh, assumption video because as you know it's a trend on, uh, on YouTube and I really like uh, watching those kind of videos so I wanted to know if you guys are into that and according to the poll 100% was yes which got me a little bit nervous to be honest uh, because I didn't know what to expect but it, it turned out to be pretty good like your assumptions are uh, really great I have the best followers in the world uh, I had to admit that uh, and if you want to be uh, one of those uh, amazing followers on Instagram, please, uh, I will leave the link down below, but also you can find me by my uh, handle. Uh, but anyhow, so I ask you to write some assumptions about me, and you did, so uh, without me rambling three hours unnecessary. I will uh, start by uh, reading those assumptions and uh, start finally start this video. But I need my glasses, and I hope you will be able to see me, see my eyes uh, from uh, from the lens. Uh, I did, I don't have the ring light uh, because of this, so I also don't know how the lighting is going to be because weather is pretty. It's changing like it's uh, one moment is really sunny, then it's cloudy. So, uh, if there's huge changes in the light, I apologize about that. But let's finally start this video. Okay, so the first uh, assumption is you're always confident, uh, confident and happy. Oh, thank you about that. Uh, I hope I'm. I mean, I hope I'm glad that I'm giving out those kind of vibes. Uh, there are definitely times in my life when I wasn't uh, confident at all um, or happy, uh, but this is this is the period of my life uh, that I'm the most confident. I guess the older I get, I'm getting more confident. Uh, does that make any sense? And I am the happiest that than I ever been. Uh, so far in my life. Uh, I have beautiful family, I have beautiful life, I have uh, amazing friends, I do what I love to do, which yeah, there's pretty, I'm really happy and I try to uh, li live positively and as much as possible uh, to avoid negativity and to be happy and enjoy my life uh, because there's always reason to be happy. I'm just mumbling, uh, rumbling. I apologize. I hope that explains something. Uh, let's go to another assumption because this, if I spend this much time on every, we're going to be here a very long time. Uh, you live in Canada, but your accent is not from there. LOL. I love it though. <laughs> Thank you so much. And that is true. I do live in Canada for the last 16 years, uh, but I'm originally from... Um, Bosnia. Uh, then I moved to Serbia uh, during the war and everything. Uh, but anyhow, I'm originally from Bosnia uh, and I lived there until I was 14. And then uh, I moved to Serbia and lived there for 12 years. And now I'm here in Canada for the last 16 years. So technically I'm the Canadian the longest. Yeah. So, but yes, I do have an accent. Uh, I'm, I wish I don't, but I do, so whatever. Uh, okay. <clears throat> uh, this actually was one of the questions that, uh, assumptions that kind of repeated, um, itself. There are a couple of people that uh, had the same assumption, so I will, uh, answer it here, uh, for everyone. Instead of being, uh... <laughs> Resting bitch face queen, you're a soft, uh, soft hearted, over emotional, I assume it's uh, overly emotional sweetheart. 
Oh, that is so nice. Uh, if you don't like, uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram for a longer period of time, uh, there was a joke uh, for a while, a longest time, actually since I started blogging, uh, that <laughs> I'm a wrestling bitch face queen. Uh, because at, especially at the beginning I never smiled on any of my faces and I have one of those uh, faces that is very serious when I'm not smiling uh, so everyone was uh, like uh, who especially people who knew me like personally and know that I laugh a lot and I smile a lot so they were uh, really confused why I'm so serious on those photos uh, so uh, there is a running joke on uh, Instagram that I'm resting, uh, I'm resting bitch face queen. Uh, but yeah, so that's what is, why is that a comment? But uh, a soft-hearted and overtly emotional sweetheart. Oh, that is so nice of you uh, to say. Uh, I can be very, very emotional. Uh, I tr I try to hide it as much as possible. Uh, and trying to uh, play to be tough, um, but I can get really, really emotional, really, really emotional. It can be really early, uh, but uh, we'll talk about that some other time. Um, you're very open-minded and always put uh, others before yourself. Oh, that is so nice of you to say. Uh, I hope I am. I mean, open-minded, uh, I try to be. Uh, I, I try uh, to embrace everyone uh, for who they, like, what kind of person they are, what, uh, if that's what this is regarding. Uh, I'm, uh, I don't judge people um, on uh, based on their skin tone or their, uh, social sta sta status or religion or I don't know what else there is. Uh, I like to talk to everyone. I like to be friends with everyone. Uh, I judge people based on what kind of person they are. Uh, and for other things, yes, I like to try um, not so much food I'm not open, that open-minded, but I should be to try like exotic foods and stuff. I'm pretty like uh, simple-minded, uh, if I can say that, in um, in that area. For other things, I do like to be open-minded. I uh, I um, try to. I hope I am. Uh, try, I try to respect everyone's opinion, uh, even if they're, if it's different from mine, uh, because I know that just because we have different opinions doesn't mean that uh, we're necessarily both wrong or right, uh, and that I can't change anyone's opinion, but I can respect them, and I can actually learn from uh, other people's experiences, opinions, uh, cultures. I'm rambling, uh, but I hope this makes any, some sense for you guys. If it's not, please leave me a comment. I will try to explain better. Uh, but it, yeah, but that's it. That's it. Um, again, about resting bitch uh, uh, uh This is um, another one that was mentioned a couple of times. Uh, I'm very serious. Uh, and very uh, organized person that I'm. Uh, that I had a couple of different ones like that. I'm uh, very strict, very serious, very very like uh, straight, like kind of person. Uh, and again, thank, thanks to resting bitch face. Uh, that is the opinion, uh, opinion that people usually have about me, uh, which I had like since I can remember. Uh, People that will like uh, meet me in person uh, after a while, they will uh, always tell me, "Oh my God, when I first saw you, I thought that you were uh, so cold and snobby and like serious, and then you turn out to be totally crazy and insane." Uh, but 
I guess like if I'm not smiling, if I'm just, uh, just standing there seriously, <laughs> I do have that, my face does have that like, cold vi uh, vibe that um, can fool people that I'm very serious and very like strict. But uh, no, if you can talk to any of my friends, they will tell you a totally different story. Or my family. My husband will tell you that I have very weird and insane sense of humor. So, yeah. Uh, and very organized. Um, lately, not so much. I'm trying to organize my life for uh, quite a while now. When I was working in the office, I was, uh, because I was legal assistant, I had two lawyers, um, and they were prosecutors actually. Uh, that was that were very very busy and uh, I had I was really organized uh, with everything uh, but since I stopped working and I start start blogging and working from home and doing other things no not so much that that is the thing that I'm trying to uh, work um, the most in my life, uh, like uh, the the thing that I struggle the most, uh, how to organize myself to be more productive and more, not cram everything in the last second. Uh, everything gets done eventually. I mean, not eventually. Everything gets done on time and uh, whatnot. But I uh, procrastinate and then have a lot of stress because everything needs to be done and it's like five minutes till deadline uh, so that's the thing I need to work on to organize myself I don't have any is, uh, is that bad no it's not bad it's just it's good it's you don't have any uh, assumptions about me so that's I guess is good uh, I think you're strong bold and courageous but there is softness within you as well like uh, I mentioned that that's kind of similar with uh, uh, the other uh, just that it mentioned wrestling bitch face. But uh, yes, thank you so much for that, uh, for this um, really uh, nice assumption. Uh, strong, bold, and courageous. Uh, I don't know about courageous, but I'm trying to, I hope I'm strong. Like, uh, I hope I'm a strong person. Uh, bold and courageous. Hmm, I don't know about that. Like, uh, again, uh, resting bitch face does help uh, with that assumption. Uh, so everyone thinks that I'm, like, I know what I'm doing. Uh, I guess it's good to have a resting bitch face. I guess, yeah. Uh, but uh, I, courageous, uh, I'm trying uh, lately, as I mentioned in one in the, one of the first uh, answers, uh, that I'm uh, the happiest and most uh, more com most confident right now in my life, uh, which means that I'm uh, now uh, nowadays I'm more confident to step out out of my comfort zone. Uh, I guess that makes me more courageous. Uh, if that makes any sense. Um, I just, <clears throat> before I wasn't uh, that courageous to, like I said, step out uh, because like I had crazy life and everything what, that was happening. So I uh, wa made a bubble around me that I didn't like to like burst or expand. Uh, but like I mentioned, Lately, I'm try, uh, trying to expand my comfort zone and to try new things and to be more courageous and uh, not to hold myself uh, back just because of I don't know what. I hope that gives an answer. You are an amazing mom with a great style. Oh, thank you so much for that. Uh, I hope I am. I mean, I hope I'm an amazing mom. Uh, great style, like uh, that, I guess, depends on, I think I have a good style, but uh, uh, I think that depends on the uh, person who's saying it, if that makes sense. Like, uh, 
everyone has different style and different opinions, but uh, I hope I have a good style. I, I sure hope so. Uh, that's the point. <laughs> uh, that's why I'm uh, doing what I'm doing. But anyhow, uh, amazing mom, uh, I hope I am. I'm trying to be uh, as best as I can. But I guess uh, that is more for my kids to answer. And uh, I think they're, it depends if they're in trouble or not, what, they, uh, what the answer would be on that. <laughs> I have to read this one because uh, that I'm your bestie, duh. Uh, this one was from my uh, partner in crime, Robin. If you followed me, if you follow me on Instagram and you saw our, uh, and you were following me dr uh, during uh, New York Fashion Week, you know who I'm talking about. Uh, actually, she's uh, from another blogger from Edmonton, and we're pretty much all the time together. Uh, so yes, you are uh, Robin. If you're watching this, you are my bestie for sure. Uh, oh my God, this is like half an hour already. There will be a lot of editing. Uh, uh, where am I? Um, oh, I'll uh, do one more. Uh, you, <laughs> just because it's, uh, you love Archie like he's your third kid. <laughs> If you're uh, following me on Instagram, you know who Archie is. Um, if you're not, please do. But yes, Archie is my golden retriever, uh, my dog. He's uh, one year old, and I do love him a lot. I've I don't know if I could say like my uh, my own child, but uh, he's pretty close to that. He is uh, my fur baby. Uh, we love each other very very much. Uh, and yeah, that is actually, that was a very good assumption about me. Uh, so yes, that was the last assumption that I wanted to read, uh, just because I don't want this video to kind of be three hour long. Uh, I will, I want to thank all of you who participated in the poll and who left me, uh, assumption or question or answer the question. Uh, thank you so much. You are, uh, you are amazing. I love you all. Uh, as you could see, I didn't have any bad assumptions, which is good. Thank you so much for that. Uh, but thank you so much for all of you who participated uh, and helped me to create this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you uh, like it, please give it a thumbs up uh, and don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you in my YouTube uh YouTube uh, family uh, and of course please do leave me a comment down below if you have any assumptions about me or if you have any suggestions what kind of videos would you like me to uh, make for you guys uh, if you have any questions for me please leave uh, everything in, in the comment down below I would love to read it and answer and maybe even create another assumption video that will be all for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!